Hello, so in this video I wanted to talk about AI video editing, how AI can be used to clean plate a video. So clean plate means removing objects from a video and making it look like the object was never there to begin with. Yeah, so the real point of this video is that I've written a script that can really automate all of this through AI and it's using SAM, some other machine learning models that have recently come out and I wanted to share with you how that happened and I've I'll put the script description and the links in the description below so you can have a look at them as well. So yeah, let's just look at some of the uh, stuff that I've done and how it looks. So this is the original scene of King Kong hitting Godzilla in the face. You can see there's an interesting stuff. Uh, and then this is the, the video after it had been ran through the script. So it's kind of low res because of the GPU memory, because all of this is running in Colab. So you can kind of see how the flickering there of King Kong's arm comes into play. But this was, this was all, the only input I really had with this was just writing a command. So it was fairly simple. All I said was remove God's, uh, the gorilla from the scene and pretty, pretty good job. I mean, the only issue is the arm obviously, but it did a pretty good job. Okay, so let's actually run this demo in real time. So I've got a video here. Um, I've changed it from what it was previously because it was a bit difficult to work out what was going on. Because it got all blurry. Okay, so, so the first thing we're going to do is run this collab script, which just splits our video into pictures and saves it to our, our Google Drive. So that's here, video images. So we've got about 44 images going from 0 to 44. Then the next thing we're going to do is this one, where we generate and save our masks to Google Drive. We run it all the way up to here. And from here, what you want to do is go to your zero frame, so your zero image, and then you want to give it a prompt that can be used throughout the whole video clip that will constantly find an object. So we run the prompt, plane, because it is essentially a fighter jet flying through the sky, and it found a um, it found a square box to encapsulate it. Great. Let's create a mask over it. And great, we've got a mask. So let's go to our final image then. So forty four. Run that. That's the last part of the plane, okay. Let's see if it makes a bounding box around it. Cool, still does. Let's see the mask. Okay, that's got a mask too. Cool, so we know it will be pretty good. Um, so let's run this, it will show us what the mask will look like with the mask overlay on the image. So our final mask will look like that on the um, 44th image. So yep, yeah, cool. And then there you will save it, but we don't need to do that. Once we know that what this stuff looks like, so we know the first image will look like that. Let's make a directory called masks. Let's then list all our file paths. That looks good, and then let's run this script. And it's calling prompt, where are you? It's calling prompt, and that prompt was defined when we were testing it out, so we don't need to define it again. So it should be using that. And then this one should create all our masks. So shift enter, and it should run it. And so if we go back to our Google Drive and we go to our masks, it should be generating it in real time. And there's the first one. So you can see that little white dot slowly getting bigger. Okay, so I'll cut and then I'll come back once it's finished and then I'll show you where to go from there. Okay, so we finished this script here and it's saved all the masks to our drive. So that's finished. The next one we need to run is this one. So I ran through all the steps because it took a, a long time to run all this sort of stuff and it's generated a video. So if we go back to our drive and we go look at the folder, the folder is called 
clean plated images from flow underscore guided transformer. So the actual f the project's actually called um, guided flow transformer removal. So yeah, if we go back there and we look at the result. You can see it's pretty much gone. I mean, there's nothing great. Now, in some cases, you might have some flickering. Flickering might occur because the mask might be covering a part and there's no other original footage to replace it. So what it does by default, it replaces it by the first frame. So if that does happen, then what you want to do is run this script. It then converts the new resulting video, so that would be it then converts that all to images and and then runs this to work out what the average um, differences between each image and works out the mean for that and then works out if an image's color coloration is different or lower than the mean and then removes it and then recreates the video so let's just run it with the video we've got right now I see no flickering at all the previous one was flickering a little bit but look nothing off the end but still it's pretty cool right so we used AI to edit a video remove flickering and remove objects from that video just by using an AI script on Colab which I thought is incredible now just to round off I'll put all the links to this uh, stuff in the description below and I'll put them in order that you're supposed to run them in um, besides that I think that's everything Okay, so if you like what you saw, maybe like and subscribe. I do plan on creating more content on this and more other topics. Uh, like the video, it helps me out. And uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.